Walter Hoyle, 1922 to 2000, was born in Lancashire and educated at Beckenham School of Art and the Royal College of Art. In 1952, he moved to Great Barnfield, encouraged by Edward Borden after their successful painting trip to Sicily. He showed his work in the three Great Barnfield open house exhibitions in 1954, 1955 and 1958. At the first exhibition, he met his wife Denise and they lived in the area for the next 20 years, together with their children James and Nina. Walter undertook his own work, commercial commissions and teaching throughout his life. After teaching at St Martin's of the Central School of Art, he taught printmaking at Cambridge School of Art from 1964 until 1984. After retiring, he and Denise moved to Hastings and spent time at their flat in Dieppe. His art spanned a huge range from watercolour landscapes to abstracts and experimental prints. He was a versatile artist. Walter was in the army from 1942 to 1947. His national service was mostly undertaken in India. Walter undertook commercial commissions for Holman Brothers of Camborne, Cornwall. The company produced mining and drilling equipment. It was founded in 1801 and ceased trading in 1968. This watercolour tunnelling of 1962 shows work on the Hyde Park Corner underpass which links Piccadilly and Knightsbridge. After working with Edward Borden on the Festival of Britain in 1951, Walter went with him on a painting holiday to Sicily. The time was spent mostly in and around Enna, a hill town in the centre of the island. Many of the pictures he produced were shown in a one-man exhibition at the Leicester Galleries in 1952. Some were included in the exhibition Watercolours and Drawings by Edward Borden and Walter Hoyle of Enna, Sicily at the Fry Art Gallery in June 1998. Walter moved to Stackyard Cottage at Great Lodge, Great Barnfield in 1952. He painted many scenes in and around the farm and the village, including these young chickens. Hoyle chose this picture for his entry in the catalogue to the 1958 Great Barnfield Artists Exhibition. The bust was given to Hoyle by his good friend Eric Ayres. Walter painted this view of Great Lodge from his window as the milkman was delivering. In 1966, Editions Electo produced a limited edition of 10 prints of Cambridge Colleges by Walter Hoyle. The prints were sold individually or in a full set with a cover image. Later, Walter went on to produce prints of a number of other colleges. Walter was influenced by his close association with France through his French wife Denise and their regular trips to France. Arthur Rimbaud, 1854-1891, was a French poet. His poetry and life are said to have influenced a huge range of 20th century writers musicians and artists. Walter was commissioned to produce posters for the Post Office Savings Bank. The subjects ranged from scenes including the local post office through to more abstract designs. Here we see art, science and technology and the then new and exciting Heathrow Airport. Finally, we come to a watercolour of Coudure, the town in the far south of France which had attracted many artists over the years, including Matisse, Derain, Dufy, Picasso and Charles Rennie Mackintosh.